My name is Michael Yip, and I'm a professor in the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department and also a Contextual Robotics Institute faculty in UC San Diego. My lab traditionally does surgical robotics for human health, and one of the, the things that uh, came about through our discussions with the San Diego Zoo was that these technologies could be actually very beneficial and meet a really critical need in terms of saving the populations of endangered animals. And so some of the tools that we've created are flexible snake-like devices that could make their way into the animals safely and non-traumatically for delivery of therapeutics or, or medicine. And in this case, uh, they realized that it would be extremely beneficial for delivering sperm to aid in the artificial insemination of rhinos. In our lab, we build these robotic devices called robotic catheters. And the idea is that we can form any length of flexible device that we can make the flex back and forth. And so by flexing it back and forth, we can actually snake really complicated geometries and enter areas that you could certainly not access with traditional tools. And the advantage of this is that you can actually enter very potentially different animal environments and provide therapeutic or artificial insemination capabilities to the zoologists or the zookeepers in treating those animals. Most of the funding here typically goes to human health and so a lot of our projects have dealt with uh, the development of tools um, for, for treating uh, different types of diseases for humans. Um, but unfortunately, there's a severe lack of that for the conservation efforts that are happening for endangered species. And so there's a real critical need for support in that area to bring new technologies like the robotics that we develop into the space for animal conservation. One of the hopes that I have is that this technology could be used to combat illegal poaching and how they are driving endangered animals into extinction. And hopefully with this type of technology, we can combat that by introducing and repopulating many of these endangered animals that have been driven by humans to the brink of extinction. <laughs>